get us a table yet? No. I thought it'd be rude, so I waited for you. Mm-hmm. There's a boy as a host, and you so chicken out to talk to him. No. Yes. No. Welcome to Don Ramones. Will there be anyone else joining you? Well, let's see. It could be for three if you want to join us. <laughs> She's just joking. <laughs> let's see for the two of us. No problem. Just follow me and I'll get you your waitress. There you go. Thanks, cutie. Okay, I'm gonna have a number five. I'll get a six. So, how did your finals go? It went well. I think I sealed my fate for law school. As usual, you know, I studied too much and I was the first to leave. We'll take a number five and number six. Seriously, you need to lighten up and stop over preparing for everything in life. You can't always get an A plus on everything. Shit happens, girl. You need to go with the flow. Right, Grace. If only my parents were as cool as your foster parents and let me dye orange pieces into my hair. Dottie still has the maid put out my outfits every single day. I am the product of over-preparation. For real? You never told me this. Mm. And here I thought you chose to dress like a stiff all these years. Ugh. Oh. I couldn't bear you making fun of me for the last four years. Damn, girl. Now I just feel sorry for your ass. Oh. Seriously? You need to tell Dodo and Dildo over there to chill the hell out. Your parents are whacked. Oh, I know, I know. But my parents did get me somewhere to stay while I'm studying. And there's an extra bedroom if you're interested. Hell yeah. Dude, this is going to be the best four years of our lives. Now all we have to do is get through prom. And dress shopping tomorrow. Yes. Here are your orders. Adelina, I, I didn't even recognize you. Susan, I thought you were in college. Uh, no. After junior year, when I had my baby, I, I had to drop out, you know, had to feed the kid, myself. I, I, I'm sorry, I've, I've got to finish serving. See you later. Wow. So that's what happens when you royally screw up your life. That really scared me. I think I should go study something. Ta-da! My secret dress shop, La Tienda Marcada. Ooh. My little hidden gem. So many pretty dresses. Right. I'm gonna try them all on. I'll I know, right? Hey, Peppa. Hey, Mommy. Hi. Hey, Linda. You look so pretty. Me gusta lo que hiciste con el cabello, te veo. Peppa, these are my friends. Hey, friends. Girls, Hi. Mr. Fashionista himself, Peppa. <laughs> so, what can I do for you lovely ladies today? Prom dresses. Yes. Yeah. Grace called me in advance, and I already picked out some perfect dresses for you girls, all right? From here, La Tienda Malcada, all right? So I'm going to style you with my magic touch, OK? I got this one right here well, just for you. I'm so trying this on. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty. This one is yours. Ooh, I like the color. Yeah. Oh, that one's good. And this one is for you. Look at this. It matches my hair. I love it too. Yes. What do you girls think of this one? Hell no. no! How about this one? <gasps> I'd be naked in that one! Uh-oh. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Look at that. Uh-oh. Well, well. If it isn't rich bitch, freak, an irrelevant one and two. What do you want, Brittany? We just want to remind you all of what losers you are. Seriously, girls, bu bullying is not funny. Maybe not, but your dress sure is. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Little chicken head. <gasps> Bravo! <laughs> Let's give it up for Brittany and Stephanie. Here's a thought. If you would have gone to school, you would actually be going to college next year. Ha, ha, ha. We don't all have rich daddies that can get us into college like her. <laughs> Evelina worked very hard to get into college. Yeah. Ew. And what about you, Grace? 
How did you get in? Did you put a hex on the Dean, freak? <laughs> yep. And I'm putting one on you right now. Have fun working at Target for the rest of your lives. <laughs> when are some people gonna realize that they peaked in high school and things will never be the same for them again? They're just big, fat, stupid tools, that's it. They're psychologically inept. Great insult, high five. <laughs> Yay, thanks. Okay. I'm not gonna let them ruin our day. Let's keep jumping! Yeah! Woo! I need another dress. Where's the fitting room? Yeah. Where's the music, bitches? Grace, don't curse. My mom is in the other room. <sighs> so, what do you want to listen to? Our song, Not Good Enough. Yeah. Yeah. For all those boys who stole those little parts of our hearts these last four years. Oh. <laughs> song's about a boy? Really? Mm -hmm. How can someone be so book smart? So lost in life. Seriously, is that the best you girls could do? Because I'll take you all right now in a dance competition. <laughs> Especially you. Mom! Get out! I'm fine. Loser. Can't wait for Can't see, actually. <clears throat> I still can't believe the two of you are related. How is one so coordinated and the other is. So not? <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> You and Evelina aren't related instead? For real. <laughs> Come on, Grace. You know Chrissy has a sister. No, 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 no. Shh. No, don't bring her name up. She appears and she'll ruin our fun. Hey, girls. Oh, oh, I didn't know you were over. Can I hang out with you guys? Sure. No. no. You're so lucky you get to go to prom. Can I come too? Sure. Oh. Treats anyone? <gasps> come on. Yes. Oh, come on, girls. Take them while they're still hot from the oven. Yes. Your mom rocks. How are you not fat with she this kind of cooking? Thank you, Grace. Christy just doesn't appreciate how good she does have it. Seriously, I don't think my mom even knows how to turn on the oven. I don't think your mom knows what room the oven is in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe he's a poor little rich girl. Hey, be nice. Everybody's family situation is different. Everyone can't be like us. Family hug. Come on, I love you guys. Sometimes. Come on, guys. Let's give the girls room while they wait for their limo. Bye. See you later, girls. Bye, girls. I can't believe it's our senior prom. I feel like a woman. What? You ain't a woman yet until you tried that sticky, sticky, licky, licky. Not everything is about sex, you know, Grace. Just you think that. You gotta try it before you knock it, virgin. Oh, come on, you guys. You know Evelina's waiting for the one. Who doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I cannot begin to tell you girls how much I'm going to miss seeing you every day. I know. Can you come to Boston with us, please? Come to Boston Why don't you guys us? come and stay at State with us? My parents got me a house. And Grace is moving in with me. Really? <laughs> Awesome. No Seriously, fair. I know where we're crashing at next Christmas break. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Because my parents are going to Aspen again, and at least this year I won't have to spend Christmas holidays with the maid. Exactly. We have our own family to spend the holidays with. Aww. Aww. Let's do it, prom baby! Oh. Um, hold up. Can you take some? What? <laughs> what? What are you guys doing? No, I'm gonna be naked! <sighs> That's better. Let's go. go. Yeah. Uh, no! Woo! Okay, girls, here you are. Please do not break anything. I want my security deposit back, okay? Yes, Miss Dottie. Okay. Thank you, Mother. Okay, I'm off to the doctors. Are you sick, Miss Dottie? No, darling. I'm going to the doctors to get some Botox and then meet my husband in Paris. You know, Evelina, I thought you would grow up. What do you mean, mother? 
You know better not to call me mother. Somebody could hear you. You should call me Dottie, just like your little friend here. Mother, Dottie, there's no need to be condescending to my friend. I'm sorry, I just don't like people like her. You know, I'm standing right here, just saying. I'm sorry, what are you wearing? What is this hideous thing? I thought the maid got rid of this years ago. You know, it's the only thing I have left from Nanny Lopez. You know how much she cared for me. She was actually her mother, not you. I'm sorry, did you say something, Gretchen? Grace, Dottie, her name is Grace. That's what I said. I told my husband to hire a Jewish nanny. You wouldn't be wearing this hideous thing and embarrassing your good breeding. Oh my God. Seriously? Your mother is unbelievable. Notice how she called your dad her husband and not your father? That's because her husband is not even sure he's my father. Dottie was a little promiscuous in the 80s and 90s. Girl, I hope for your sake, Dildo over there isn't your real dad. <sighs> He's not a nice person. Such is the cross that I have to bear. At least I have my father above watching over me. Okay, okay, okay. Enough of this Jesus stuff. Let's unpack. Okay. So, what do you think of the place? This place is dope! I can't wait to throw our first party. Party? N no. Hold up, let me pull an Ambelina. I, I did not dance like that. And, and no, no party. I have to study. Evelina, classes start tomorrow. How the hell do you have homework already? Well, we got our syllabus and I'm half through that and I'm half through my intro to law textbook and you didn't do any of this? <sighs> One day you need to chill. Seriously. College is about letting loose, having fun, mingling with the opposite sex. And here I thought college was about getting a degree. <laughs> And I do not dance like that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do.